Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn how to read and write Hindi. We are also here because we want to learn how to read and write Urdu. We are doing both at the same time. Today is our day number six. Today we are going to continue the topic that we started yesterday on day number five, which deals with the concept of Iki Matra. Iki Matra, as we know, yes, as we learned yesterday, E, e comes in, E makes two different sounds, short E and long E. Iki Matra, Choti Iki Matra and a Badi Iki Matra. Choti Iki Matra we learned yesterday, today is part part two of three on the topic. If you have not watched yesterday's video, day number five, it's very important that you watch day five first because you will not follow anything that I'm talking about right now because I obviously we don't have a luxury of repeating everything we already did. So day number five, we went into detail, a lot of detail as to what Iki Matra is about and how to make the Iki Matra and so forth. Today I'm just going to pick up from where we left off. What we did learn yesterday is that for a short E sound, for a short E sound in Hindi, you take your letter, whatever the letter is, let's say B, and you want to convert B into a B, you put this stick to the left, and that makes a B, short B. In Urdu, you take the letter, whatever the letter it is, for example, B, and you put a symbol underneath it, this symbol is called Zer, Zer. The name of the symbol is Zer. You put a Zer underneath the, underneath the letter, and it becomes Choti Iki Matra. It becomes, it converts B into a B. Similarly, P will become P if you put the stick to the left. Similarly, if you have a T, you want to convert T into a T, you just put Matra. Very simple, very straightforward. We did it yesterday. And in Urdu, you just put a Zer underneath it. For Badi Iki Matra, what we learned is that you take your letter, B, whatever it is, and you combine with it, Choti Ye. This letter is called Choti Ye. We learned it on day number three, Choti Ye and Badi Ye. As I said already, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> as I said already twice probably, I'm not going to repeat everything we did yesterday. Go back and watch yesterday's video to get the details. This is called Choti Ye. And when you combine them together, it looks like this. and becomes a B. In Hindi, you take the letter B, B, and to make a Badi Ki Matra, you put it to the right hand side. Similarly, P, P, and the short E makes a P. You take your P and you put it on the right hand side, so on and so forth. The only exception there was, the one that we learned yesterday was that, the exception was the letter A, the first letter, A. What we learned is, let's put it on the top, because we're going to need it. If you want to convert A into an E, in Urdu it's very simple. If you want to if you want a Choti Iki Matra, you just take your Alif and you put a Zer underneath, just like you would do with any other letter. It behaves in the same way. But in Hindi, you do not take your A uh, and try to put a Matra like that. That would be wrong. This is wrong. They have a special symbol. It looks like this. This is a symbol for E. Similarly, for Badi E, in Urdu, you will simply take your Alif and join a Choti Y, a Choti Ye, that becomes an E. In Hindi, they have a special symbol for it. As you can see, it looks exactly like this one, except it has a small thing on the top like this, and that makes a buddy. That makes an eeky sound. That makes that makes e, e It makes an e sound, but a longer e. Let's write some letters. And as always, for the, what we have been doing for the last five days is that we learn. We, as, we, as we learn the matras, we learn Aki matras, today we're learning Iki matras. As we're learning a matra in the same time, at the same time, in the same process, we also learn the letters of the alphabet. Today we're going to learn these letters. The very first one we have here is this one. It's called Ain. Let's learn it first so we can write our first word. So this letter looks like this. And it's called Ain. It's not that long. And it's called Ain. The name of the letter is A, and it is approximately equal to your O. Alif, Alif is exactly equal to O. Alif is exactly equal to O, and it's approximately equal to because exact sound does not exist in Hindi. Ain is a is a, is a grotto sound. Ain as opposed to O. 
uh, uh. There's a difference. This is Arabic sound. That's the sound. That's the word. We, that's the letter we're gonna learn first here, because we're gonna we're gonna need it in the first very first word that we're about to write. It looks like this when it joins. So this is a full form of aim. When it's written in a joint, it looks like this. The next letter we have to learn is the next letter we have to learn is this one. It looks like this. It has a dot on top of it, and this letter is called. Game, and this is approximately go. This is approximately go. Again, by approximately, because it's not the exact sound. The exact sound, exact sound is gaf. Gaf is the exact equivalent of go. That's the exact equivalent, because that makes a go sound. This makes a go, uh, and I, even I can't do it. But it's a it's a grottle sound. It's an Arabic sound. In Hindi, we use the same letter for both 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 the cases. So let's begin. First, a word that is going to require choti ki matra, then a word that's going to require bari ki matra. So here we go. So here is the ayin. It's written in a short form because it's about to join something. It's going to join lam. That's a lam. So so far we have ayin plus a lam, and then it's going to join meme. Let's see what it looks like so far. The way it is written so far, it reads, if we were to write the same thing in Hindi, it reads a la ma. Alam. As you, as you know, there is no such word as alam. What we need here is a matra. We need choti ki matra. Choti ki matra is going to go under ain. And that converts that a sound into e sound. And now we no longer need a, we need a choti e. And that's a law. And what we find is that we have a word which reads ilm. Ilm as in knowledge. Ilm. Let's look at something with a body ki matra. Very straightforward, very simple word. So again we have a ain. It's going to join the choti ye. So that tells us it's going to take a body ki matra. So we need a body e. And then it's going to join dal. Dal makes a duh sound. We learned the dal long time ago on the very first day. The. There we go. What do you suppose it reads? It says Eid. Eid as in the holiday, the Muslim holiday. Eid. That's how we write it. How do you write it in Urdu? Well, let's see. We have the end, so it's going to go like this, a short form. It's going to join the Y, a year, short year. And we know when it, when it comes in the middle, it takes that shape. And you join it with the dal. And that's how you write Eid. But as you can see, in Eid, the E is a little bit longer. When I say longer, it doesn't last forever. It doesn't go on forever. It does, it does last about a split second longer than it did here. Elm, Eid. You see the difference? Elm, Eid. E is the sound E is a little bit more emphasized. It's longer sound. It's Badi Ki Matra. Let's do the next word. Or to be more precise, or, look, or to be more precise, let's do the next pair. So here's a simple one. Let's do choti ki matra first. Again with ain. So this is our ain written in a short form. It's going to join the meme. So so far it says um, and then re, and alif ra, and then noon. Let's write it in Hindi. So, so what it says is that it says a ma ra no amran. There is no such word. There is no such name. What we're looking here is the name, somebody's name, and the name is Imran. It needs an iki matra, choti iki matra, zair. And instead of a a in the beginning, we'll have choti e. There you go. Now that's Imran. Do you understand? As in, as in Imran Khan, if you like. But that's a choti. That's too buddy. It starts with a lift and a year. 
So that's, make, that's going to make an E sound. And because ye, we need a badi ki matra. Badi. So it looks like this with the, with the just on the top. E. And then we have ma. It's going to join the ma. It's going to join the ma like that. Ma. E ma. E ma. No. And then the da and alif da iman da ri imandari as in honesty imandari e ma no iman and then da iman da ri imandari honesty as you can see that's a badi ki matra. That was a choti ki matra. This one takes a zir and this one takes a choti here. Imandari. Let's do the next pair. Let's see what we have in the next pair. Oh, here's a, here's a nice one. Again, in, in, with a zir. So it's going to make a choti ki sound. That's what you need. E, then ma. That's a ma. E ma. Again, all of this thing we have learned already before. We shouldn't have to explain over and over again how to join a meme and an alif. Meme and an alif. Meme starts from the top like this, but when it's about to join, it starts from the bottom. And it joins the alif. We have learned it before. E ma. R. T. Imarat. Imarat as in building. A building is called an imarat. E ma. R. So that's a choti ki matra. Let's write a word so that we can have a contrast with the badi ki matra. Here's the word. This is a, this word is gonna be a little tricky. This word is gonna be a little tricky. Oh perhaps not. Let's just keep it simple. I'm gonna skip that word, it's just too 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 I don't want to go there. Here's a word. Alif, ye. So that's going to make an eeky sound, badi eeky, badi, like this. Then a noon, and then a tur. That's how you write int in Urdu, int. But in Hindi, in Hindi, we do not write like this. In Urdu, it takes the entire whole noon. We are not going to write like this. How do you make tur in Hindi? I forgot. That's not how we write ain't in Hindi, in Hindi. Because it's a very short sound. The end sound is very short, it's very nasal. Ain't. And when that happens in Hindi, we do not write the whole N. What we do is we take away the N and we put a dot on top of it. And this no longer says E, it says E and then T. Int. Int. Int as in brick. Just like we did when we last yesterday when we wrote Hindi. Hindi is written, we have the he, and then the no, we can write the sh half n, and then the d, like this, or we can take out this n, we can take out this n and put a dot here, and now this part becomes him. Same idea, this is int, t, int. Badi ki matra, chodi ki matra. Let's do the next pair. So next word is very easy. T and Y. That's going to make a T. But because it takes a Y, it's a badi ki matra. T, T. And then a noon. Teen. Teen is in three. Very simple, very straightforward. Teen. Let's write something with a with a choti ki matra. This is a badi ki matra. Here's the word. Z. That's a z because we can put it down. Z. You can write a choti ki matra. Z. z no. D. And then. G. 
Oh, this apparently, I, I just realized that this word apparently has both choti ki matra and badi ki matra. The word says, zindagi. Z, z, this, is, this letter is called z. And since it has a choti ki matra, we know it's next to zabar. That's a z. Zin, da, and then gi. Badi ki matra. Which means it's going to take a gaf and a choti. Zindagi. Zindagi is in life. Zindagi is in life. Let's do one more. Now we're going to learn this letter. Gain. This letter, we just, we just discussed it. This is called gain. The name of the letter is gain and this is approximately equal to go, as you can see right here. But the writer, one who is writing in Urdu, the writer has to know whether it's going to take this gaf, this ga, gaf, or whether it's going to take this one. You have to know. The writer has to know, otherwise the spelling will not be correct. The writer has to know whether it's going to take an alif or ain, whether it's going to take a gain or a gaf. Do you understand? So right now we're learning this word, this letter. So let's write a word beginning with gain. And it looks like this. Let's see if you can help me out. The the ma and then we have a gaf. Let's write it in Hindi. The ma and gaf. As you can tell, there is no such word as the mag. Neither in your language nor in mine. The word we are looking for is not the mag but the mag. It needs it needs zer, choti ki matra. Now we have a word. The word is the mag. The mag is in mind. The mag is in mind. That's the choti ki matra. Let's learn a word. Let's look at the word with the bari ki matra using the same letter gaf that we just learned. Ga. So here's the ga when it's about to join something. It's going to join to choti here. So that tells us that we need a bari ki matra. So we write our ga. And we need a, we need a bari ki matra, not choti ki matra. Ji. No, we don't need ji. Let me start again. Go, re, that's it, that's it. Badi ki matra, ga, re, ba, and other choti. Which means in this in this word we have two badi ki matra, one here, one here. Because we have choti ye here and choti ye here. Ga, re, bi, garibi. Garibi as in poverty. Garib admi. Garib means poor. Garibi is the noun, poverty. How do we write it? G, R, and then this one is going to take this form, Gari, because it's coming in the middle of the word, Gari, then a B, and then Chodi. Garibi. Garibi as in poverty, as I said. Let's look, let's look at another pair. First with the Chodi, Chodi ki matra, then with the Badi ki matra. Here's the word. Ka, ra, na. Ka, ra, na. Ka, re, noon. Ka, ka, re, noon. As you can tell, current. There is no such word. I never heard of it. The word we're looking for is not current. It's missing a matra. It's missing a choti ki matra. We're not looking for ka. We're looking for ki. Kiran. Kiran as in. Sunbeam, ray, ray of light, sunbeam, kiran. Let's look a word with a badi ki matra. A. Ah, if you remember, we learned this thing on the very first day. This symbol is called, this symbol is called mud. And it goes only on letter alif, only letter. Alif is the only letter that takes the mud. 
it, it does not go on any other letter because on any other letter if you want to aki matra you just put the alif itself for example if you want to convert ba into a ba you take your ba you write it in this form and then you put a matra but for alif because alif is the straight line itself in urdu we don't put two straight line to make it a it's an exception you take your alif and you put this symbol to make it a and that symbol has a name obviously it's called mat alif mat a that's how it's read that's how it's read. Alif mat a, and then we have a badi ki matra. So this is our mean, this is ma, and then choti ye. Actually, that meme should have been going the other way around. It looks weird. There you go. Me. Oh, we missed something in between. I missed something in between. I missed a letter. A, the, me, admi. Admi as in person. And that is again wrong. Let me try one more time writing a me. I was right the first time. This is me. Add me. A. The. Me. And there is your body. Body ki mantra. Add me. Add me, add me as in person. Let's keep on going. First the shorty ki mantra. No, show, sha rather, sha, and then no. No, this is a show. Let me join Aki Matra. No, sha, and then other no. Let me write it in, let me write it in freehand so it, it comes out a little bit better. It doesn't look that ugly. That did not help, did it? So far what we have on the blackboard is something that says Nashan. As you and I both know, there is no such word. Nashan. It's missing some matra. It's missing iki matra. Or to be more precise, it's missing, it's missing choti iki matra. This no, this no here in the beginning, needs a zir to convert into ni. Nishan. Nishan is in target. Nishan. Let's write a word with the body iki matra. Nishan, as you can see, E sound is very quick. E sound is very quick. Here's the word. Z, Z. We learned this word before, Z. It makes a Z sound. We must have learned it before. I know we learned, we learned it before. Z. Right there. On day number two, Z. Z, Z. And now, we're going to have a Badi Ki Matra. A mean and the choti y, choti y is going to join together. So that's a block, that's a iki matra. Za, mi, and then nun. Zameen. Zameen. Za, mi, no, zameen. How do we join this letter together? See, as I keep telling you over and over again, because I keep repeating it because I find it fascinating, I find it quite interesting that in Hindi you don't, have to, you don't have to ever worry about how the letters are going to join because they don't. In Urdu, in every word, the writer must know how they join, how they should join. Do you understand? So, we take our Zay and you have to know that Zay does not join anything ever. This is mean when it's written in a short form and when it joins the Choti Ye, it's going to look like this. Keep listening. And then a Noon. But that's damn silly. So usually meme will join Choti A like this if it appears at the end. But it's not appearing at the end, it's appearing in the middle. So it's not going to take that shape. It is going to take this shape. And it has to noon, join the noon now. So let's be able to rewrite it. The mean, no, the mean. You know what the mean means? The mean means earth. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Which one should we do? Badi Badi ki matra or Chodi ki? Let's do Chodi ki matra first because that's what we've been doing. This letter is to, to, like this. This is ko, kaf, and then other to. The bloody hell is that? I have never seen such a word. 
tact. I don't know what that is. It's missing a matra. It's missing, missing a choti ki matra to be precise. How do I know that? Because we write choti, choti ki matra on this side. I'm being silly. It's missing a matra, choti ki matra underneath this guy. And now it reads ticket. Ticket. Let's put them together. So this, because this one appears at the very end, it's going to take the full form, but this guy is going to take a short form. Instead of it being so, so big, it's going to just take like this. Let's put the, put the matra underneath it. Now it's going to join the calf, and the calf, when it's in the short form, it looks like this. It no longer looks like this. And then you join the other tail. Ticket. That's how it looks like. Ticket. Let's do the one with the body eating matra. Okay? Bo Ma Ro Bo Oh, I can't play the trick in, in Urdu like that because I'm going to go and fix it in here and I can insert things insert, you can insert things in Hindi very easily but because the letters have to join in Urdu I can't play the trick because I'll have to erase the whole thing Bamar, obviously there is no such word since we are looking, looking at Bari Iki Matra, the word I was about to write is this B B which is why I had to start because I couldn't I couldn't skip space like this because it's a join so this is B this is Choti A that makes a B then we have a Ma B Ma that's a Ma B Ma and then not Bimar oh actually Bimar is also a word but why don't we have two Bari Iki Matra Bimari so Re and another Choti A Bimari Bimari as in sickness Bimari as in sickness. There we go. I'm going to stop right here. We'll meet again tomorrow and we're going to pick up from where we left off. I still have few more few more words that I want to do dealing with Chuti Ki Matra and Badi Ki Matra. A few more example, And that's going to be part three. This, this what we did today on day number six was the part part two of three. Part one obviously was yesterday. Part day number five. This is part two of three. We're going to do one more video on Choti Ki Matra, dealing with few more examples, few more words. And then day after tomorrow, on day number eight, we're going to start a new matra, most likely Uki Matra. So we did Aki Matra, we are finishing up on Iki Matra, then we have to do Uki Matra, and then Oki Matra, and then finally Eki Matra. So we have quite a bit of work to go here before we are able to write something meaningful. We're going to call it a day right now. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.